Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use this device which measures the boiling temperature of brake fluid. This is my 2013 Honda Civic. The brake fluid's probably never been changed so it'll be quite interesting to see what the boiling temperature actually is. To set it up you simply connect it to the battery, negative terminal first, then positive terminal, and you can see that the device comes on and it'll tell you when it's ready. Basically what it does is it boils the fluid inside the little probe over here and then it tells you exactly at what temperature that fluid boils. You can see the brake fluid on this car looks a bit old, it's quite dark. Originally it would have been relatively clear with a slight, a very slight amber color to it. So this immediately tells us that this brake fluid is quite old. So what you would normally do is if you have an easily accessible reservoir is you would stick the probe into there. But because this reservoir is relatively shallow, we're going to decant some into a little, uh, little bottle. Okay, we need to almost fill this little bottle so that the, the whole tip of that probe is submerged. It's very important to either replace your brake fluid every two years or at least test it for the, for the boiling temperature. Uh, most brake fluids are synthetic and synthetic brake fluids naturally absorb moisture from the atmosphere. They are hygroscopic fluids and the more water you have in the brake fluid system the lower the boiling temperature. So if you have a good brake fluid that boils above 250 degrees Celsius with only 3% water in it, it will boil at 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, we want to get the probe down into the fluid past that little um, hole on the side. Okay, so you need to make sure you have enough depth to get past that little hole. Once it's in the fluid, past that hole, you just press the button on the device and you'll see that it says it's heating up the fluid and then the little bars move across the screen. Okay, there you can see it's showing us the boiling temperature is at 206 degrees Celsius. So originally this brake fluid should have at least been 240, 250 degrees Celsius and to have dot 3 specification it should be above 140, to have dot 4 specification it should be above 155 and to have dot 5.1 specification it should have 180. So it still passes all of those standards but it is much lower than it was originally. This is Motul's Racing Brake Fluid 660. It has a dry boiling point of 325 degrees Celsius and a wet boiling point of 205 degrees Celsius. Wet boiling point means when this fluid is absorbed 3% water into it. Okay, let's pour it into this little bottle and give it a test. You'll see that this fluid is, is naturally quite dark. Uh, it's actually a problem at a lot of the workshops because when the guys do change to this fluid, the customers think that they haven't changed it because it still looks like the old fluid. Okay, here you'll see that the boiling point is 297 degrees Celsius. Of course, that's almost 30 degrees lower than the 325 dry boiling point that was stated. But of course, that is because it's absorbed some moisture from the atmosphere as the bottle is open for a few months. Please do not pour your used brake fluid down the drain. Pour it into a little container and when that container is full or you fill a few of the old brake fluid containers, take it to the nearest disposal site or even one of your trusty local mechanics that can dispose of it responsibly. Thank you for watching. See you next time.